What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. If you guys are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. Now with this video, we are jumping into blue and gold issue number two. Now if you didn't catch issue number one, go ahead check out the link in my description as well as the top of this video. It will get you completely caught up on everything going on in this line. But what we are seeing from these two we are seeing Blue Beetle and Booster Gold finally back together. And this new era of the Infinite Frontier. We are seeing the greatest dynamic duo that has been put together since Batman and Robin. And with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into issue number 2, we are currently picking up with Booster Gold tied to a van. Now this van is very specific because it belongs to Cord Industries. Of course we know Cord Industries belonging to Ted Cord aka Blue Beetle. And what's significant about these vans is that they are driverless. They drive all by themselves which makes them vulnerable to hacking. And that's exactly what has happened here. Someone has hacked this van trying to steal all of the tech that is inside of it. And it appears that maybe Booster Gold at some point, he tried to stop them, but he got beat up, he got tied to this van, and now Blue Beetle is having to come in and save his butt. With Blue Beetle coming up alongside of him, coming inside of the Beetle Bug, he's able to wake Booster Gold up just in time, unstrap him from the top of this vehicle, and get them both over before this vehicle goes over to the edge. Because that's exactly where it is headed. With Ski inside. This was one heck of a rescue. With the van going over the edge. With Ski barely making it out in time. Booster Gold is saved. And of course Booster Gold he's super super excited. Ready to see what all of the viewers are commenting. Because that was just one heck of a rescue mission. But Skeet lets him know that she wasn't able to record or broadcast anything. Not only that, but Blue Beetle, he also forgot to put on any kind of recording devices. So this epic save, this epic rescue, it was not recorded. But Booster Gold realizes that Ted Cord is one of the smartest individuals on the planet. That there is no possible way that he actually forgot to turn on the cameras. And Blue Beetle admits he, he didn't turn them on. That he was so worried that he might not be able to save them. He didn't want the world to see Booster Gold die. But Skeet lets him know that if they did let him die, it would have probably been the highest rated views that they would have ever got. But this gives Booster Gold the idea that what if they faked their death? What if they made it look like they died and came back to life? That would be the most epic. That would be the biggest views. There would be their A-listers in no time. The Justice League would want them. They would be a Batman and Robin comparison with no issue. And Blue Beetle, he, he pumps the brakes on it immediately. He's like, you need to stop and you need to stop right there. We're not gonna, we're not gonna pretend to kill you. We're not gonna put you in a situation to kill you. We're not doing that. Because right now, they need to get back all of their tech. All the cord industry tech that has been stolen from them. And this is where we're picking up on a private airfield. On this private airfield, it looks like we have a bunch of mercenaries that have been stealing the cord industry's technology. Having dozens of crates, they are moving all of these into vehicles. Appearing to be waiting for some kind of flight. Some kind of airplane to land so they can get more of it. And as this plane comes in to land, this is where we see Blue Beetle and Booster Gold make their entrance. Coming in on the buggy, they break up this party. Now Blue Beetle, he will straight out tell you that he is not the best when it comes to the superhero stuff. That he really does lack a lot of confidence. And he works better in a team. And that's more specifically why he chooses to work with Booster Gold. Because he has enough confidence for both of them and then some. And these mercenaries, they really think that they can get the upper hand on both Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. And so they are here to prove them wrong. They're here to show them that is not the case and that these guys are superhero material. And with this fight breaking out, this is when everything goes live. With it streaming all over the world, Blue Beetle and Booster Gold are going at it. They are taking on these mercenaries and they are not holding back. 
and in the midst of this fight, Blue Beetle lets Booster Gold know, like, if you decide that you want to call me your sidekick one more time, then I will hack into your suit and I will microwave you from the inside out, saying that if you want this to work, that it has to be 50-50, that there is no more sidekick bullcrap. We are partners in this. We are going to work together and we remain equal in this fight. Booster Gold telling him that he's only joking when it comes to the sidekick stuff, but he really does want to make this dynamic duo work. They want to be a crime fighting force. And what Booster Gold wants is the help from Court Industries to be their financial backer, kind of how Batman has millions and billions of dollars. That's what they want. That's what he wants. He wants to have that disposable income so they can go help people as much as possible. So they can become the biggest faces of crime fighting that the world has ever seen. And while, yeah, Booster Gold, he really does want to build his image back up. He, he really honestly wants to make a difference in the world. Through his facade and through all of his charisma, at the heart of all of this, he really does want to help the world. And we see they take out all of these mercenaries, taking them down without any kind of problem. And while this could be hectic, it could be chaotic, chaotic in, in the idea that they're going to be backed financially and they're going to be working in a much bigger capacity, Booster Gold's not really worried because he lives his life as Booster Gold 24-7. He is being live streamed, everyone's seeing what he does, so he has nothing to hide. And he thinks this is going to give them the edge with the with the general populace. Thinking that people are going to appreciate this more with the less cloak and dagger work that they do. And it's more wide open and it's very broad and it's very honest. But that's what takes us to a little bit later on at Cord Industries. And we have Ted Cord coming in and he's having a discussion about the hijacked vehicles, you know, the quarterly reports, all of this stuff. Being the CEO, being the owner of the company, this is his job. This is what he does. He has to sit here, talk to the board, explain his decisions, explain his mistakes, so on and so forth. But the reason that this board meeting had been called is because right now, Blue Beetle is about to get fired from his own company, with the board voting unanimously to remove him as CEO. Not only that, take away all responsibilities and expel him from the company. He just had his own company taken from him, because the board seems to believe that he's just not there. He is not there for the company, he doesn't know how to be a CEO, he has made tons and tons of failures, they have been on the line of bankruptcy, there are people just waiting to buy up this company. You know, and Ted, he never asked for this job. He never wanted to be CEO or anything of that nature. This fell upon him when his father died. And since then, he's been working effortlessly to try to ensure this company's success. Obviously, having some missteps, not being a CEO, not being a businessman, he doesn't really have all the, the ability or knowledge to be able to make it successful. And so they have security escort him outside of the building. Now he's not mad at them, he, he kind of saw this coming more or less. Didn't realize things had already gotten to this point that they had gotten so bad he can't make a reversal of it. But he can't blame them either. But the situation is about to get so much worse because right now Booster Gold is going live on national television and he is informing the world that there is a new f crime fighting duo. A, a crime fighting duo for hire. But they're not going to be charging people because right now he believes that they have the backing of Cord Industries. And so he's saying that this is all going to be free of charge. That we are going to help anybody and everybody. Just ring the phone and we will come and help you. And he is formally introducing what is known as Blue and Gold Restoration. A superhero service that is meant to help the people. And of course, Ted frantically is trying to call him. To let him know that he needs to call all of this off. Because they no longer have the financial backing that they were hoping for. And with not having that money, now they have no way of funding what he is asking or what he is telling the people that they were about to do. And so this is going to put them in a big old pot of hot water. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. You know, Blue and Gold has been fun so far. 
I've really enjoyed the dynamic. It's definitely a, a fresh step from everything currently going on. Booster Gold and Blue Beetle together have always been such a great dynamic duo. The way they're written together, the way that Booster Gold interacts and flaunts his, his, his ego and everything else is just absolutely phenomenal. But it's what make these two so successful as a team. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you have not yet, do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the awesome content we have coming out. And until the next breakdown.